Violence in central Indiana is having a huge impact on 911 centers. Officials tell us a dispatcher shortage is creating even greater mental health challenges. CBS's Michael Van Skoik tells us how they're coping tonight. Before the lights and sirens hit the streets, it often starts with a single call. And for many dispatchers, it feels like the calls are rising. With rising crime comes uh, rising uh, workload for our dispatchers. Keith Brandt is the Johnson County 911 Center Director. He says some calls stick with you forever. I still remember one of the very first calls I ever took. Uh, I listened to a female get shot um, by her ex-boyfriend while I was on the phone with her. Brandt says many dispatchers don't get closure, often left wondering what happened after a call ends. Sometimes your your imagination is worse than reality. Following this week's shooting in Louisville, Brandt says he can relate to the emotions that come along with a mass shooting. 911, where's your emergency? We're at the Greenwood Park Mall. Our shots were just fired. It was his team taking those first calls from Greenwood Park Mall last July. That night, uh, we took calls that we never expected to take here. Moments like that don't just go away when the shift is up. The studies are showing that PTSD in dispatchers is, is growing. And in Indianapolis, now at more than 60 homicides for the year, police also deal with the same mental toll. This has a significant impact. You know, especially seeing the same crimes over and over. IMPD and Johnson County Dispatch both say they have a wide range of resources for employees dealing with any mental health impacts. You're feeling the impact of the violence in the city. There are numerous places that you can reach out. Before the calls slow, Brant says mental health will remain a top priority. It's something that we have to we have to take seriously with our with our folks. Fortunately, he says the good calls often outweigh the bad, remembering why they're in it. In Johnson County, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. IMPD says anyone dealing with the effects of violence should reach out to the IMPD's chaplain's office to get connected with resources in the community.